beautiful metal. This is a sterling silver metal that came in original red leather case. 58 millimeters, 102.70 grams, pretty hefty. It's uh, hallmarked on the edge, 1966 silver with a cornucopia. So uh, this piece is uh, from the house of Canard Duchesne, the famous champagne house in France, epic, was founded in 1868, and uh, a couple named Victor Canard and Leon Duchesne met, fell in love, got married, and he had a passion for uh, winemaking and a lot of experience, and she sort of had a passion in wine tasting and viniculture. They produced this Champagne eight years later, and the rest is history. Um, it's fantastic. It's a great piece. Very, very unusual to find this. I couldn't believe when I found it. So the back is uh, minimal, but a beautiful patina. 100 years being in business. This maybe employee worked for 40 years. In the, in, the, in the family business. It's one of the only champagnes in France that's still family owned. You know, during the tumultuous aftermath of the French Revolution, they managed to appeal to the citizens of France who abhorred the symbols of aristocracy, probably because you know, they never really had large profit margins under other, unlike the other uh, large champagne makers. So. They were also lucky that Napoleon loved drinking this stuff, so that's probably the real reason they, they f continued to flourish. Um, but how did they really make it big? In 1890, their son, Edmund, brought international fame to the Champagne House when he was able to penetrate the inner circles of the court of Tsar Nicholas II of Russia. And uh, that's... How come that two-headed eagle's on there? If you know my channel, you know I have a profound fondness for the symbol. All right. So it's a really amazing history. Let me see if I can show you some other pictures. This is uh, the Tsar and King Edward. A couple of badasses. <laughs> like a Freemason. Collar. Look at that clever labeling. You know, these are all the labels we're all familiar with around the, the world. Very high end, high quality champagne. So it's lovely. And uh, here's the uh, birth chart of Victor. So for any of you who know what that means, you can freeze frame it and check it out. And this is his wife's astrological chart. All right. Thanks for watching.